Third graders, we're going to be diving into a really fun hands-on project to give you a break from all of the screens you've probably been watching. We're going to be making a Navajo-inspired basket. What is weaving? This process is interlacing one group of materials over and under another group of materials to create a useful and beautiful artwork. If you take a closer look, you probably recognize paper weavings where you push strips of paper over and under other strips of paper. Weaving has been happening for a very long time. Humans have used weaving to create baskets long before they used weaving to make cloth. Early baskets were probably made by weaving grasses and plant materials around gourds to give them a useful shape. There are examples of weaving all over the world. Take a look at the images here. You can see some early European weavers, Asian weavers probably weaving a very expensive special fabric called silk. Egyptian weavers from Africa creating cloth, South American weavers, and then the weavers we're going to be focusing on Navajo artists. Now it's important to remember that weaving is influenced by the resources available to each group of people. So these artists and craftsmen have to look in their particular area and think about what is available. This would be really challenging if you think about the Navajo people living in this kind of landscape in the Southwest. They had sheep and the sheep were the primary source of the fibers or wool that was used on their loom. You can see that the sheep are naturally or all neutral colors. So this would give them some options for a color scheme for a woven rug or blanket. But take a look here, using plants and flowers from this region, it's possible to soak wool from sheep and to achieve all sorts of beautiful accent colors. So a lot of times when you look at Navajo weavings, you see mostly neutrals with pops of these warm colors. They were very resourceful. Some important vocabulary for you to know. You need to know about a loom, and this can take many forms. For our project, it's actually going to be a cup. Then there are threads, typically some that go up and down called the warp. And then the weaving is usually done with yarn or threads across those warp, and that is called the weft. That always reminds me of like a toddler trying to say left, weft. Here's an image of a typical loom that one person might weave on to make a small weaving. Our project is going to be focusing on these elements and principles of art. We're going to be thinking about color. Weaving definitely creates a lot of soft texture. The colors that we're using are going to be across the color wheel, complementary colors that create contrast. And you may decide to weave them in a pattern. You can see those here, color, texture, contrast, and pattern. All right, let's get started. Join me on the demo video to see how you